What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. After Effects is a super awesome software for creatives who are pushing it to its absolute limits, whether that's creating VFX, motion graphics, or animation. Today we're gonna be diving into some of the best of the best work. That way you guys can learn a little bit from their techniques and get inspired for works of your own. Anyways, I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creatives on this list are not in order of importance, they're just too dope to compare like that, but I want you guys to stick around to the very end so you don't miss out on some of the most inspiring works from one of my favorite creators. Anyways, let's hop right into the list. First up at number 10, okay, this one here made me smile, it's by One Advice 2280 and it's actually a recreation of a Spotify commercial ad inside of After Effects. Not only was this copy amazingly accurate to the Spotify wrapped commercials, but he also uses an excellent animation style for the shapes and the motion of this. I love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Next we have at number nine, here we have one from Nasal One who creates this awesome use of kinetic typography, motion, space, and gradient. This one has a bit of a worship theme to it. It's pretty interesting to see a motion designer applying that motion design to his face. So hey, cool work. Hope you keep it up. All right, on to the next one. Number eight on the list. This next one is by Rex Hernan 22 and this one borders as well as something that may cause epilepsy epilepsy if you guys are a little bit sensitive to flashing lights but besides that it is an impressive use of after effects to create all sorts of amazing styles and trippy colors and effects as well as lyrics that sync up to the music. I normally don't see lyric videos for these EDM high energy style music so it's pretty interesting to see what Rex Hernan 22 came up with. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Here we have at number seven okay here we have one by Sue and it's called Impulsion. This is also a music video styled in animation but what's really cool about this is that it has some really nice motion and transitions using shapes and a lot of loud movements to complement the song. This is a brilliant use of After Effects and I love how you made this piece come together. At number six, okay here we have one from Thingamajid on Twitter and what's really cool about this piece is that they created this using a combination of Cinema 4D and After Effects as well as Substance Painter and if you're curious what inspired this, this was actually inspired by a dream. They say it took about one week to create in total and I gotta say the result is pretty impressive. Hope you keep making more animations based off of your dreams because you have some super wild dreams. All right things are heating up at number five. This one is by read.cv and this is actually a commercial work so it's not one of the more flashy entertaining music video style or artistic style uses of After Effects. Instead this is a more professional use which is also super impressive because it's always helpful to see the way that After Effects is getting used by companies and in the real world for most job environments. What's cool about this commercial is that it uses After Effects to animate the text bubbles as well as the emojis that pop up for these different people in the commercial. And if you guys are curious how to make your own text animating on as if it's like being typed on by a computer or someone who's sitting by a computer using a keyboard, you may want to check out this tutorial that we have on the channel which talks about a really fast and easy way to handle text in After Effects. We're down to the final four. Yo, this one is from Motion Jacob, and he brings us this beautifully animated and composed piece of just shape animations. Not only that, but it also loops, which is super cool. The way this was created was it was actually broken up into 13 sections, and each section contains a composition that has about 3 to 30 layers each, just depending on the complexity of it. Not only that, but that diamond animation that you're seeing right there was built in After Effects entirely. And if you guys are curious how he did it, he actually linked a tutorial by Manual Does Motion. So you guys, if you want to learn how to do that on your own, we're going to have that tutorial link in our description as well so you can check it out. Awesome work and I hope you keep it up. Okay, this is where things get super interesting. We're at the final three here at number three. Okay, if you guys have epilepsy, you might want to skip past this one because not only is this one super flashy, but it's also really impressive. This is a 4K glitch music video from Melvin Bragg and it is so awesome. I love all the 
the glitch details inside of this, the way that the animations are synced to the music, and this definitely looks like something that could be used for a TV show or resembles some sort of music video from like Tame Impala or Porter Robinson. If you guys are curious how to get awesome glitch animation effects of your own, we actually have a video on the top glitch plugins for After Effects, ones that deal with data moshing, all sorts of cool stuff. So if you guys want to see that, again, link is going to be in that description box. Anyways, I love your work a lot, Melville, and I hope to see more. All right, on to the next one. Next up, we have at number two. Here we have this awesome Pokemon animation by Rubon A. This one is really fun because not only does it look like an awesome pinball Pokemon animation that I'd love to play, but all the styles and the animations are so clean and fluid, it's just mind blowing. If you guys are curious how he got those really awesome smear frames, he's actually using a plugin for After Effects by Battle Axe called Schmear. You guys can check it out. Links are going to be down in that description box. I love this animation a lot because of the smoothness of it. And not only that, but it taps into that nostalgia qualities and the amazing, beautiful use of colors. This one is super impressive and I hope to see more of your work. And last but definitely not least, at number one, here we have one from Hobgoblin Ghost who creates this frame by frame animation. The frame by frame animations were actually done in TV paint and then he used After Effects to composite all this all together. What's really cool about this is not not only does it look pretty interesting and has a cool style, but it was also created for his first year college project. I love the use of frame by frame animation, the style of all the drawings, as well as your use of comedy. This is a super sweet piece and it's really impressive when you're able to use After Effects in combination with these other softwares such as TV Paint, Premiere Pro, Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint, as well as having your music made in FL Studio. This is an awesome piece and I hope you keep on making more. So those are some of the most impressive creators that I've seen thus far but I'm sure there's gonna be a whole bunch more so make sure you guys go ahead hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out when we cover the next set of creators here on the channel also if you enjoyed this video and want to see more really awesome techniques from After Effects and different creators that are really just doing some awesome mind-blowing stuff make sure you go ahead and check out this video here you're not gonna regret it or you can check out this other video here which is gonna be one that YouTube thinks you're gonna like anyways I hope to catch you in the next one all right peace